Hello everybody and uh, welcome to listen to this uh, PlanMega Romexis implant planning workflow video. So in the next uh, minutes I will be showing you uh, how to do implant planning in uh, PlanMega Romexis software and how to finalize it in your own designed implant guide that you can uh, do even chair side. So uh, first of all I will open up the 3D uh, image for the patient, the CBCT and uh, we start by mapping the dental model to this image. So we have an intraoral scan for this patient and we select it uh, from the patient's data list. You could as well uh, bring any other STL uh, file from other systems with this browse button. We need to give three points in common for Romexis to do the mapping. So uh, we try to select the points as far away from it, uh, each other as uh, possible. We always select one point from the left side image and then the same from the right side image. We let Romexis calculate. So Romexis will not only use the three points that I have given it, but it will use a special algorithm to make the match even better. Romexi shows me a deviation map, so uh, when uh, the crowns are green and the gingiva is red, uh, the match should be good. So we select to use automatic match and uh, then we will still want to verify the match for example from the coronal uh, view by scrolling and checking the fit of the STL model to the CBCT volume. After that if we also have made a restoration design already we can match that to the volume as well with the same fit model tool. Romexis notices that this crown has been designed on top of the already matched intraoral scan, so the crown will drop automatically to the correct place. From here we can move on to the implants uh, planning module and there uh, we will go to the implant library to select our uh, favorite implant. I will use Trauman in this demonstration. Once we select any implant from the library, Romexis gives us a list of the possible uh, surgical kits. Uh, in this case I will use Strauman's own sleeve. We add to plan. And then I will use this implant centric view to place well uh, the implant. So these two slices are always centralized in the implant and uh, I also see the cuts from the restoration design here so I have a good overview on on how I want my implant to be positioned. Once we have found the good place for the implant then we can look at the sleeve. We can see clearly from the rendering that the sleeve is now entering a bit the gingiva, so we, uh, depending on the implant manufacturer that we are using, we might be able to adjust the position of the sleeve to different heights. Once we have selected the wanted height, we can also check from the sleeve properties the needed uh, drilling length. After having the implant and the sleeve well in place, we can move to the implant guide designing. Uh, the implant guide designing is a very easy workflow. We start from the step one and we move downwards. So the first step is to set the insertion direction. Uh, the insertion direction affects how the guide will sit on the patient's teeth and we want it to sit so that it doesn't fall over to the buccal or the lingual side. So what we must check here is that uh, we have uh, contact points for the guide 
uh, equally on both buccal and lingual side. So the contact points are the green areas and the red areas are undercuts. So I want to rotate the model and click set manually from the viewpoint of my insertion direction and uh, check that I have green areas both buccally and lingually. The second step is to draw the guide area. So with the mouse left click we select the area that we want to create the guide uh, onto and with the mouse right click uh, we can remove areas. So mouse left adds, mouse right click removes and with the mouse wheel in the middle uh, you can rotate the model and if you don't have a mouse wheel uh, you can as well use the alt button and the left click from the mouse. After this uh, we have guide options, so we have a thickness value, uh, generally a thickness between 2 and 3 millimeters is recommended, you can choose that freely. Then these two gap parameters, they affect to the fit of the sleeve and the fit of the guide. So those you might need to adjust depending on which 3D printer you will be using for printing the guides. We have here by default the parameters for our Creo 3D printer. In the step 4 we have parameters that define the plane area just around the sleeve. So uh, we have parameters that have been locked because they are parameters that define the hole for the sleeve and uh, should not be uh, modified unless we are advanced users. That's why they are locked but can be unlocked from this small lock. The wall thickness uh, is the only parameter that we can uh, safely modify. It defines how uh, thick will be the area of the guide around the sleeve uh, and that is generally recommended to be a bit higher than the thickness of the whole guide so that we get more strength just around the uh, implantation spot. After that, uh, we in step number five, we have a possibility to select to remove sharp and thin edges. This should be always selected when we do real patient cases. And uh, after that we can create uh, a preview of the guide. So Romexis will calculate a preview of the guide which we can then uh, still modify a bit. So we can for example remove material. So for example if we have some unnecessary parts that we want to uh, still remove from the actual guide. We may as well uh, add inspection windows uh, wherever we wish them to be. We can also add a bar if we need to add a more strength to the guide. And we can also add a text So we rotate the model uh, and we place the dialog on top of the guide where we want to place the text. Uh, we can also look at the guide uh, without anything else to check if we are happy with the design. And then we are ready to create the actual guide. And Romexis will create the STL file for the guide, it will as well be exported at the same time to your selected location and uh, you will be able to even create implant report. So after creating the guide, uh, it will be visible here on top of all the other patient data and uh, it can be managed from here from the object browser. So from here you just then uh, bring it to any 3D printer and print it with the surgical guide compatible material. That easy to create your own guides uh, locally. Thank you very much for listening and uh, bye bye.